problem is called evaluating an exponential function that models a real-world situation. The radioactive substance uranium-240 has a half-life of 14 hours. The amount, A of T, of a sample of uranium-240 remaining in grams after T hours is given by the following exponential function. A of T equals 2,400 times the quantity 1 half to the T divided by 14th power. Find the initial amount in the sample and the amount remaining after 30 hours. Round your answer to the nearest gram as necessary. So the initial amount is going to be when time is zero. But notice if you make time zero, so if you put a zero here, it's zero over 14, which is zero, and anything to the zero power is just one. So it's going to be this whole thing is one times 2,400. 2, so the initial amount is just going to be the 2,400, which is in that spot right there. This is going to be true for any type of situation in this type of problem. It's always going to be this number in front because this whole exponent part is going to turn to the number one. Now, after 30 hours, what you're going to have to do in your calculator is you would just uh, plug in, you got 2,400 times one half uh, to the 30 over 14th power. You would just figure out what that is on your calculator. So I can just show you on this calculator, um, on, on my computer, not on Alex, I would take 30 divided by 14 and figure out that, what that part is. And I want to take 1 half to that power. So we'd really like it so that you can just plug this exactly into your calculator. I'm going to have to go about it a different way since I don't have the Alex calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 half, which is 0.5, and then I'm going to take that to the power. Where is the power? Um, I'll change it to scientific. So I take one half, and then I'm going to take that to the power. So right here, this x sub y to the power 30 over 14. Let's see if it'll let me 30 over 14. And then in that parenthesis, press equals, and then multiply by 2400. And this is what the Alex calculator should give you uh, as well. So it's 543 to the nearest gram. Um, that would be to the nearest gram because it would round down. So 543 grams. But again, just put this in the Alex calculator. You don't have to worry about the order of operations then. Good luck with this topic.